Hi guys, knows the case of a serial murderer who was not discovered in 10 years in a quiet town. Welcome to Worth Recap, this time I show you the summary of the movie The Clovahitch Killer. It all begins at the commemoration ceremony for the 10th anniversary of the deaths of a dozen girls at the hands of a serial killer known as Clovahitch. Then we pass with Taylor who along with his father Don are teaching in the Boy Scouts, then determine with the meeting they return home, and at night Taylor takes his father's truck without permission to meet his girlfriend Amy, who he incites Taylor to have sex in the car. Because of this she tries to move the seat and finds the photo of a bound and gagged woman. Seeing the photo Amy gets scared and decides to leave. The next morning Amy tells all her friends about the photo she found, and they start treating Taylor like a degenerate, because of this he decides to investigate why those kinds of photos were in his dad's truck, and starts entering his father's shed and searching for a while he finds a box with several adult bondage magazines, and at the end of these a picture of a dead woman named Nora. At that moment the father arrives and not finding anyone at home goes to investigate the shed and discovers that someone entered and searched among his things. At night Taylor searches for information about Nora's murder, discovering that she was a victim of Clovahitch but before she can find out more her mother interrupts him and sends him to sleep. The next day Taylor meets with a girl named Cassie to find out more about Clovahitch, and learns that the killer killed all of his victims after tying them up with rope, and to leave proof that he did it, he left a rope on each house with the Clovahitch knot. Don realizes that Taylor is meeting with Cassie and thinking they are her boyfriend convinces her son to invite her to dinner. The next day Taylor invites Cassie to dinner at her house and asks her not to talk about Clovahitch, she accepts, but during dinner she asks questions related to Clovahitch's modus operandi, which makes Taylor nervous, already at night. After dinner, Cassie asks Taylor if she thinks her dad is Clovahitch, and she says yes, since she found evidence of Nora's case in the shed. However, she does not believe her and only makes fun of her. However, when she arrives at her house, Cassie investigates Nora's case and discovers that the evidence Taylor found is authentic. That's why she goes home and together they enter the shed and when looking for the box with the photograph they notice that it has disappeared, however when they check further they find a strange map, seeing this Cassie goes home and tells him Taylor to meet first thing in the morning. After thinking about it for a bit Taylor notices that the map belongs to his house, after Cassie leaves he goes to the entrance indicated by the map and after investigating a while he finds a hidden room with a rotten smell where he runs into identifications of several women and among them that of Nora. In the morning Don takes Taylor camping and there the father tells Taylor that the things he has found are not his, but his brother's, convincing him that he is the murderer Clovahitch. Taylor asks him why he never said anything, and Don tells her that if he said anything, his family could be in danger because he was involved with a serial killer. Because of this they decide to burn all the evidence. The next day Taylor meets the Boy Scouts and Cassie arrives to find out why she didn't go home, and he tells her that they went camping and there her father told her that her uncle is Clovahitch, however Cassie is not convinced and tries to show the evidence to Taylor, he gets upset and that's why he throws the papers, at that moment Billy comes out and sees the photos and calls Cassie a bitch, and tries to attack her, but Taylor gets in the way and starts a fight. After what happened everyone involved goes home and Cassie sends Taylor a sorry note. Some time later Taylor leaves town to attend a camp, while Don convinces the wife to visit her mother for a few weeks, and while she just continues with her normal life until she meets a lady, who begins to continue to his house, then he returns home and with a camera he begins to take pictures while wearing women's clothing along with a mask posing as if he were tied up. Then he goes to the room to change his clothes but at that moment Cassie knocks on the door and he rushes to change, then invites her in and takes a picture of her. Shortly after Cassie answers when she receives a call from her father and leaves. Days later Don prepares to attack the woman in the market, so he marks the house and then dresses as a thief and sneaks into her house and pretends to be a bank robber fleeing from the police. So he asks for the keys to his car and then takes a photo of her to threaten her, saying that if she says anything to the police he will give the photo to his friends to deal with. 
Then, before leaving he tells her that he has to tie her up, so they go up to the room and he ties her feet and also gags her, then he takes a bag and tries to suffocate her while taking photos of what happens. But at that moment Taylor appears from behind and starts pointing a gun at him. We go back to the day that Taylor receives the note from Cassie, they meet and she tells him that Clovahitch killed her mother when she was 5 years old. Clovahitch entered the basement then tied her mother up and locked her in the bathroom there she could hear her mother's screams. Taylor recognizes the name of Cassie's mother and decides to skip camp to keep an eye on her father. They watch as Don follows a woman and takes a picture of her. Then Taylor returns home and installs a GPS on his father's cell phone to be able to follow him better, however at that moment Don enters the room where Taylor is dressed as a woman and for fear of being discovered. He asks Cassie for help and she knocks on the door and distracts Don for a moment, giving Taylor a chance to escape. Later, thanks to the GPS, they begin to follow him and see how Don tied a rope to the house of the woman he followed. Days later they take a gun from Taylor's house and then break into the house Don marked, where they catch him in the act. However, Don alleges that he is having an affair with the woman so he asks Taylor to keep quiet and hand over the gun, at which point Cassie sees a gun and tries to grab it, but Don stops her by hitting her against the wall and knocking her out. Then he convinces Taylor and he hands him the gun, once with it he points it at him and tries to shoot him, however the gun had no bullets so Taylor throws himself at his father and they both have a fight where Taylor loses and starts to be strangled, but before he can kill him, Cassie knocks Don out by hitting him in the head. Cassie then tries to call the police, but Taylor stops her as it could affect her family. After that day Don is declared missing, however days later he is declared dead and at his funeral Taylor gives a speech in his honor. During Taylor's speech we are shown flashbacks of what happened after they took Don down, Taylor and Cassie headed into the woods to camp and carried an unconscious Don and placed Don in a chair. Taylor took a gun ready to finish off his father. At that moment Taylor finishes with his speech. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe to see more videos like this, if you wanted to see more, I recommend this movie of Exorcism of Demons.